in this discussion to the topic state and political change let us put a simple question what are the causes of political change in state in the discussion of causes of political change there is no specific theory which can explain the causes of political change it means there are different points which can analyze the causes of political change when the life human life in the state is cheap when the human life is cheap in the state political change is occurred when the population is dislocated in the state political change is viable when the authority is disintegrated political change is happen when the government and the people or within the government is conflict in between and the readiness of arms is prepared readiness of arms is realized then political change is happen when the national leadership is discredited discredited in the state political change is happen and scarcity on material needs is one of the cause of political change a sense of wounded national pride and ideology it leads to political change the nature of political life in the state it also leads the question of the question of political change when there is enlargement of popular participation in politics and the rise of new political issues in the state there is also political change new means of mass communication extension of scope of governmental activity i repeat new means of mass communication extension of scope of government and activity that challenges from external power it causes also it causes also the political change so political change particularly the causes of political change is varied aspect and in the state the political system is one of the backbone in the discussion about the political change in the state when we talk about different types of political system whether authoritarian political system monarchical political system and democratic political system political system is the one of the centrifugal point about political change it has two characteristics about the functioning of political system whether it is stable or unstable the question of stable and the question of unstable of political system is one of focusing point on the finding of causes of political change we pick up some from the past historical context we pick up aristotle what is aristotle assessment about the political change what are the causes so he pointed out the failure in distribution of wealth the failure in distribution of wealth corresponded to the distribution of political power there is also occurrence of political change aristotle concluded that the most stable type of political system is one based on large middle class for example aristocratic form of government so when we talk about what is the best form of government of aristotle 
Aristotle answered to us that aristocratic form of government with monarchy. This is one. So inequality is the fundamental cause of revolution. So he talks about failure in distribution of wealth corresponded to distribution of political power. This is the point of causing political change. Let us see in the thoughts of Karl Marx. According to Karl Marx, economic determinism is one of the area which would like to explain the cause of political change. Karl Marx explained that economic determinism, that view, views all political change as a result of changes in the mode of production. So he considered production and distribution should be equal treatment in the governance. If there is no, if there is imbalance, if there is no equality in the, if there is balance in the production and the distribution, political change is stagnant. And if there is imbalance between production and the distribution, Karl Marx advised, Karl Marx view that political change is ensured. After him, let us take up, take up the critical theorists' views on causes of political change. Critical theorists believe that governing elite and their composition and the, the activities in the alienation of the elite from the mass, alienation of the elite from the mass, the prime cause of revolution and the other forms of violent, other forms of violent political change. That is, we know politics of violence. Politics of violence is one of the cause of political change. Many countries in the 21st century and the 20th century and the 21st century, according to critical theorists, believe that there are experiences, one form or another of internal warfare, internal warfare leading to violent collapse of the government in power. Such politics of violence inhibits still more the development of open methods of citizen participation in politics and adds to development of, adds to tensions, adds to tension between the government and the people. It finds lack of legitimacy that brings down absence of a fundamental consensus on what it is, it is appropriate political behavior. So let us also further look into the stability of political system which can analyze the causes of political change. In the attempt to understand the causes of political change, we have to look into the political system whether or on the case of stable. It is necessary to discuss that stable political systems, even in despotic monarchies, military regimes, and other authoritarian and totalitarian systems achieve impressive capabilities for survival. It depends upon ability to control social development, to manage and prevent change and to bring about, to bring under governmental direction all forces that may result in innovations that are threatening to political systems. It leads to political change. There is also flexible adjustment of the structures of the system that works to meet the ensuring of innovation, evolution, change of the representative institutions providing for the communication 
of demands and criticism to governments that rely upon majority that rely upon majority support in such political system social and the economic problems are quickly transformed into open issues in politics governments are obliged to do governments are obliged to save politics and policies that reflect a variety of pressures and effect compromises effect compromises among many conflicts so the changing political or electoral profile in the state is one of the deciding factor of political changes so called dynamic adjustment is bound to static of the institution in a changing society which are unable to serve as agencies of evolutionary change so after highlighting the causes of political change in the state let me go into further that the magnitude or dimensions of political change particularly in the growth in the disay in the backdrop breakdown in the ferment of adaptation and adjustment so there are two ways in which political change may occur internally or externally we are bound to realize however that both types of political change can occur at the same time to create a mixed political change i repeat for the interest of a deep thinking both types of political change can occur at the same time to create a mixed political change now internal political change is initiated by citizens of the country of the state it can be done through regular events such as elections every 5 year or four is bound in the constitution of the state and the rulers choosing to our choosing to hand over over or through regular events such as coup d'etat or a rebellion we find such things in asia and uh, in some parts of europe and even in south american countries a coup d'etat is an illegal overthrow of the government that almost always in evolves always involves the country's military it differs from a rebellion by the person and involve coups usually involve top political or top military figures leading to overthrow while rebellions could be started by individuals with little the magnitude of political change in the conflict situation with coups are one of the attentions about the about these political change coups are also more likely to keep the style of governance and to make minor changes while rebellions would be more likely rebellions would be more likely to want major changes in governance on the case of external political change in a state it is initiated by other countries from external power it is usually achieved through military threats or military actions but could occur through embargoes or withholding foreign aid if it is achieved by the military then a new leader will be placed in charge by the victorious by the foreign power we have experience in history in afghanistan pakistan and some asian countries also 
The victorious country may also choose to change the style of governance as well. In such situation, political, the magnitude of political change is identified. Students, it is time to have a conclusion in this topic, state and the political change. Why do we study this topic? The aim of this topic is to understand meaning of state, meaning of political change, what are the causes of political change, and what are the dimensions or magnitude of the political change. And uh, this time, in the conclusion part, we are to understand the merits and the demerits of political change. When the, the government and the ruler and the governance is in favor of the constitution and the will of the people, it is a positive aspect of the change, political change. On the other hand, when the rulers and the government and the, the government is against the constitution or is against the will of the people and different contradiction invites and making troubles some in the state, it is a negative aspect. So we need to identify the demerits and the merits and the, the students in the academic discussion we see all these things and uh, as a citizen of the country we have to also find out the more demerit, meritorious and the checking about the demerits of the political change thank you students